Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to go over some EDC cases I've been working on and how I started off with a design I found on Thingiverse and ended up with my own design in Tinkercad. So stay tuned. So um, I got a new microphone. So let me know how this is working. I activated a noise gate and some noise suppression to see if that will take care of the noise that the heat pump makes my mini split makes since it's sitting right there so let me know how this sounds so i found this neat little edc case on um thingiverse it is thing number five three seven two two four four and i never even printed one of the original ones the the very first thing i did was crank it up to 250 percent and printed it with some um, um, filamentum vertigo gray on a, the 1.4 millimeter nozzle on my CHT. You can see that's where the rope would go in. <laughs> so it, it's a big boy. Um, basically, it's just a it's a credit container. I wanted something bigger. This one's got all my AA batteries in it. And then I started wondering, you know, well, what could I do with it? Well, the very first thing I did was to print it in phase mode. So I just took the original model at 250% and I printed it in vase mode and that worked great. Now, of course, you had to use the original cap, of course, because you can't easily vase mode that cap. But that fits just fine. No problems, no issues. Works perfectly. Now, I was like, you know, what can I print it out of TPU? Yes. That was actually kind of interesting how it's like full of holes. <laughs> and can I print it out of PETG? Yes. And can I print it out of um, ABS ASA? Yes. Now this is all in the 1.4 millimeter nozzle. And that got to thinking, okay, why? Why would I record a video? Do I start yawning? Does it have something to do with talking? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> I, I last half an hour, no yawning. As soon as I start recording a video, I'm yawning. Mm. <laughs> so the very next thing I do is I grab my favorite part to use on uh, thingiverse, the knurled nut and bolt. That is thing number 1460364. I always grab this whenever I want either some threading or if I want some knurling for the handle. And basically, I stole the threads from this and the knurling pattern from this and came up with this. And that is this right here. So this is the model that I made. This is printed in ASA with a 1.4 millimeter nozzle. Both these parts are printed in vase mode. So this is single wall vase mode. This is double wall vase mode. You can see your seam is right there where it goes from the inside to the outside. Because you can't single wall print this. Because the inside has threads. And with a vase mode print, the inside and outside have to be mirror images of each other. So this needs to be a double wall vase mode. I did actually figure out how to make a single wall vase mode. And that is this piece here. So again, you see the inside is a mirror image of the outside. This is for if you want a, a truly minimalist um, cap for it. But I also like just having this. This is great if you need a whole bunch of caps because this will print very fast because it's phase mode. Of course, being a 1.4 millimeter nozzle, it is incredibly strong. You're going to have a tough time breaking that. You know, three or four bottom layers and then vase mode. And that works just fine. So then I scaled it up. <laughs> um, I also found that this angle was a little bit steep for anything smaller than a one millimeter nozzle. So the final modification was to add a bit more of an angle. To that so that you could print this with a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle which is what i did here um this was over extruding i think to 0 0.6 millimeters but it was printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle it printed just fine no issues now in order to get the integrity you need with a smaller nozzle um both of these are double wall vase so if you look at the thingy or the tinkercad page here you can see this one here is all solid what you would use if you were printing this with a big fat one millimeter nozzle 
However, you're going to print this with anything smaller than a one millimeter nozzle, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, you'd use this model. So this model has an inside and an outside, and then there's a slot going through it. That allows it to print outside, then inside, and give you a double wall phase mode print. Uh, this one is the same thing. There's a slot through the model here, allowing you to print inside and outside. And uh, that worked just fine. Uh, what is with the yawning? I can't stop yawning. <laughs> it's like it's like it forces me to stop talking to force me to open my mouth and yawn <laughs> it's really annoying um so whether you're doing single wall or double wall the model is compatibility for both i have a little bit of tweaking to do this is a little bit loose on the like it like doesn't cinch down which is weird because if i take this lid and put it on this one it does cinch down like that's on there nice and tight and if i take this lid and put it on the model again it cinches down nice and tight so uh they're cross compatible what i don't understand is what i'm doing differently that that goes down all the way but doesn't cinch so I'm um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. I mean, easy enough to fix. Just put something in the thread here to give it a friction fit. But I'm not sure why the 0.4 millimeter one is so loose. I mean, the easy solution is to simply shrink this part one millimeter in X and Y without changing the Z dimension, and that will make this a tighter fit. But I don't know why the parts are interchangeable, but the 2.4 millimeter parts together are loops i haven't figured that out yet if you want the nice even knurled parts you print the two double wall pieces if you just want minimalism then you just print this piece and this piece and that'll get you your minimalist see that's loose on there too oh interesting the single wall thick wall print is loose on here too I mean, perfect fit, but it doesn't, it's not tight. I wonder what the deal is there with that. Huh. But I also have one of these with an extension. If you want to increase the storage volume. Come on. So here is the um, vase mode um, lid. And here is the extended vase mode lid. So you can increase your storage capacity if you want that. And then of course, what I really wanted to do was to make something much, much bigger. I mean, these are kind of cute. These are fun. But, you know, the this, this little one is kind of an afterthought. What I really wanted to do was to make uh, the big one. <laughs> so this is really large. With a nice big interior volume. And they are both airtight. That's airtight. <laughs> I can't stick my mouth over it, so I have to pin it against my face and breathe into it. But that's airtight, and that's airtight. But the actual joint between them is not airtight, so this is not airtight. So I would need some sort of a seal in there, something to make it a little more flexible. But um, this is double wall bays, so there is a slot right there. Here, right there. So it goes inside outside wall you can see it's double wall so that is double walled this is single wall and because it's a 1.4 millimeter nozzle it's it's stupidly stiff and strong i'm gonna use this as a geocache case this is printed with filament uh, filament one asa natural and it prints like butter <laughs> um because i'm printing with such a fat nozzle i can actually print this open air as long as I don't go too fast. So this was printed open air on the Weedoo 334. And um, uh, I think it's the M40, I think. I'm not entirely sure what the name is. Let's see. Their Kickstarter is supposed to start soon, so I don't know what they're calling it yet. But um, yeah, this is printed fantastically. Uh, this is the scale that I, I want to print it at. I actually want to go bigger. I wouldn't mind having just a little bit bigger. But that's a nice size for a geocache. Because you can put a bunch of little trinkets in there. Upcoming video, I printed out some F-bombs. 
<laughs> I made a vase mode printable f bomb that you can put an eye hook in. Um, so one of these is gonna be like a what do you call it? Um, Fallout Boy uh, themed. It's gonna have a bunch of f bombs in it, but that's big enough. Put a pen in there. Put a notebook in there. Um, put a little foam rubber in this end. And you should be able to get a weather tight seal. But that would that will make a nice little geocache. Because it's phase mode printed, this prints quickly. In like like three hours, you this is done. It it doesn't take very long, even at twenty millimeters per second, because it's phase mode, and because you're printing out a 0.4 millimeter layer height single wall, this prints nice and quickly. But I'm pleased with that. That is literally just solid and hollow. There's no interior shape. It's just the outer skin. This of course is double wall because I want that nice knurling pattern. I could just print this if I want to, and then the whole thing would be single wall vase mode. But I think that just looks cooler. That just has a nicer look to it. I like that. So I don't have it on Thingiverse yet. I have a couple little more tweaks I want to make to the models uh, before I post it. But plotting again. I have to like force it down. Stop the yawn. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't get it. But there you go. Uh, that's just in Tinkercad. You just grab. I just grabbed this model and scaled it. And I ended up not liking it, so I just stole the threads from it. So the only part of the original model that's left is these threads here. Um, everything else I either made up in Tinkercad or stole from the knurled model. So what I usually do is I take the knurled model and I put a transparent cylinder around the outside of it to flatten the knurls. And I also put a cylinder on the inside to decrease the depth of the knurls. And the result is they... um. They're more flattened instead of being pointy. So you can see there's a, a bigger gap between them. And that's because I put a fill inside there. And then I chopped off the points on the outside. So I stole the knurling from the knurling bolt nut. And I stole the threads from the EDC container. And then made up my own design using those parts. That I like better. That works very well. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. I left this in my hot car in the New Mexico summer sun. Let me tell you, it gets hot. I've had credit cards become all melty and warped, and they're not even in the sun. They're in the shade. They're in a pocket, but they become all warped permanently. <laughs> it gets really hot here in the cars. It doesn't get hot outside. You know, 9,800 degrees is not that bad when it's 20% humidity. But inside cars, whoo, boy, does it get hot. <laughs> but I left this in the car for a week. No indication of warping, so the ASA works very well. I'm very pleased with that. I'm gonna have to find me a cheap source of a whole bunch of ASA. Any questions? Ask down below. I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.